Tony. I look terrible. <laughs> what time is it? It's five. This literally is like part part two. Vlog <laughs> part two. I look so tired. I'm more tired this time. This is not 212. You can oh, still on airplane mode. <laughs> oh my god, you must ran into the pillar. Vlog like this because I look terrible. But it's like 6, 5, 7, 7, 7 a.m., which is very early for me. We just made it to the hotel and we're waiting for our room to open up. So we're probably gonna get some breakfast. I'm gonna get some coffee. This is the hotel vibes. No one's here. This is why they're not bringing me a menu, because I'm not dressed appropriately. For breakfast time! Tawny's breakfast. <laughs> Guys, we're back like we never left. The same hotel, same setup. Same. She gives me this side, since it's closer to the door. So, have we been intruders? <laughs> it's me first. <laughs> You, I've been trying hard to keep my cool But when you're near, there's nothing that I can do When you're walking in, I know it's true I, it doesn't even matter how hard I try Cause when I hear your voice, my walls come down Boy, you are the only thing I want ignore our messy room but we got room service guys this is actually the first time i've ever ordered room service and i'm getting ready to go to a pool party <sighs> i'm dying we're on our way to a pool party and every single time the thing about miami is every single time we step out the humidity oh like smacks us in the face <laughs> every time tawny's like it's like i got a sponge bath it feels yeah you just feel like damp now I'm all wet for no reason. Okay, never mind. For a reason. <laughs> no, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Guys, you want to see my freaking tan line? Look at this. Ready? Crazy. I was out there for like, I feel like not that long. And I already got super tan. So this is night number one, but we came back to the LT Steak and Seafood. Because it was so good the first time. Then we're probably going to go out after. This is the vibes though. Vibes. I'm gonna get a little steak. I had a little bit of wine. I'm gonna lie, there is. I'm gonna get a little tips. <laughs> little tips. Some tap water. Guys, you see my freaking tan line. That water is tap. Damn. Me and wifey are sharing asparagus and a steak because <laughs> trying to be healthy. The steak looks small, but trust me, it's really filling. I need a new suitcase. The suitcase is dusty. My hair is crusty. We're leaving. And we're going to a wellness center. Um, if y'all don't know what that is. Basically, it's to detox our bodies for a whole week where we go plant-based. <laughs> I'm blank. See, that's why I need a detox because my brain is like always loading. We go plant-based. We can't have any coffee. Oh, so we're getting coffee right now before we go. And um, no, vegan. Because we're not eating. I mean, right. yeah, both. Wait. And we can't post mitts either because there's like the, <clears throat> this like rule against bringing outside food. Yeah, it defeats you the purpose. Commit. Fully, you have to commit to the detox fully. <laughs> Guess where we are? It's the last time I have coffee. Holy what did you I'm tired. I literally, this eye won't open. And this eye is like still sleeping. Look at this. Is that why? 
now. Like this one's still sleeping. This one's like <laughs> holding it. And my camera's dying. Beautiful. The last non-vegan meal of the week. And last coffee. Brain tap. I've never done that before. And I just found out that all my chakras are not aligned. So, with that, I could have told you. On my own, but. Does it hurt? No. Oh, okay. You won't feel anything. This is just going to uh, measure your stress levels. Okay. Relax, do not meditate. So, we just, this is my little backpack. I have a lot to carry. <laughs> so, okay, we... I offered to help. So, don't say anything. <laughs> I didn't say anything. <laughs> now we're going to our villa. We just had um, we had green juice, which is good, and um, we had our first salad. We're gonna be eating that seven days in a row, actually six, because Wednesday we're fasting with just juice. But I feel good. It was great. It was good. They had like dressing and stuff. So, so this is the villa. Um, it's not bad. The kitchen. Our room's upstairs, actually. 20. My hair. I need. Sorry. <laughs> On our way to our room. Dang. That's a big bed. Oh, our luggage. They took our luggage here. Aww. Little ropes. <gasps> That's so pretty. Aww. So pretty. Wow. Wait, I'll open it for you. Okay. Oh, dang, this is so pretty. Holy crap, it like goes all the way around. This is so nice. This is the bathroom. Dang, I thought that was a coffee cup at first. It's not though. Uh -huh. so we're not spacious. allowed to have coffee. Look at, we didn't get yeah, this together. is huge. I mean, I thought we're getting ready. Oh yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna wear makeup that much. This is interesting. I think it's because this is the right way you're supposed to like, go it to the is, restroom. Like squatting. Squat, what do they call them? A squatty potty? Squ yeah. Squatty. One of those. Shower. <gasps> what? You scared me? No, the steam mist today. Oh. I don't know what that is, but she's excited about it. What's the steam mist? Like it's extra steam, so. Oh, <laughs> extra steam. Okay. <laughs> or yeah, only like, way. You know when you go like, to the gym? Yeah. Steam room? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Guys, this is the first meal. We have some soup. A lot of sprouts, we have olives, bell pepper, asparagus, a lot of seeds, some hot sauce, cucumber, kimchi, tomatoes, over there, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> On our way to the pool, and just look how freaking pretty this is. It was just raining, but. Guys, we have to tell you the craziest story. So, we had just had orientation. And we were about to go to our rooms, but it was pouring rain. And then all of a sudden, well, there, was there was thunder and lightning. But, well, I guess you had to be there for it to sound like super crazy. But it was so loud we're that everybody, <laughs> everybody, no, even the people from Miami were like, what the <gasps> fuck? And never it, heard. we all ran inside. We were I've so scared. Never heard thunder that loud. <sighs> I literally, I thought we were going to, we were going to die. But here we are on our way to the pool. What is that? This is so pretty. Right when I get relaxed, you like pop these. Oh, hell no. Oh, pretty over there. Guys, look oh, how pretty, pretty, pretty the sky is. Wow. Ew. Oh, 7 to 8.30 a.m. 7 a.m. to 8.30 a.m. Interesting. We just got out of the sauna and we're being like, Down trying to be quiet, but we're trying to get water. Yeah, no. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do the fasting. Full force. Am I supposed to fast? Oh yeah, we are. Yeah, we want the juice and green. That doesn't. No, that's Wednesday. No, we're no, we're having um, wheatgrass every day at 10 a.m. I'm working. Okay. And we have lunch at like 12:30. Okay. 
Okay. No Wednesday, you don't do any. That's what I said. Eating. O M G. That's fasting. I know. What do you think fasting was? <laughs> intermittent fasting. Yeah, but like Wednesday, we're going fasting, fasting. Yeah, I'm just not gonna. Literally just water and grass. Shots. Rise and shine. Oh shoot! The raining outside. Rise and rain. That's stuck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay, I haven't been up this early since probably high school. Just kidding. This is day two and I just um, woke up. It's like seven, I think. I woke up at 6.30 and I had to go get my physical evaluation and green means I get to go to the hard physical classes. We're gonna do yoga and then probably go drink some green juice. Not gonna lie, I was tossing and turning because have you guys ever been in a new place and then you wake up and forget where you are? <laughs> that happened to me like three times last night. Just basically a recap of day one. When I got there, they checked my vitals and they also checked my chakra alignment and they also did a brain tap. The results of my chakra alignment are very shocking. Not aligned at all whatsoever. So I'm excited to see like after this whole reboot program, how things align and i still haven't got my stress results so the brain tap is for stress levels so i haven't gotten those back yet but someone's supposed to talk to me about that then we had an orientation and we had some green juice which was good and then we settled into our rooms we went into the hot tub we, there's a mineral pool i'm going to show you guys today there's a mineral pool a salt water pool a cold plunge and a jacuzzi but none of them have chlorine in them so and then oh and then we went into the sauna last night the infrared sauna for 30 minutes and then we came out and drank a lot of water showered and went to bed because we were both so exhausted and now here i am awake 6 30 in the morning which i never thought i'd see the day but here we are i look crazy but we just finished tiny you want to be in it or no so we just finished our first fitness class and this was supposed to be like medium level and it was hard not because of the workout because it was hard did. because we it was like we're in the sauna because it was so hot i've never sweat that much in my entire life wait and we've been fasting for a lot of hours and we've been fasting for a while like 15 hours i think thought i was gonna pass out we, we, i stopped eating at 6 15 yesterday so yeah 12 15 hours and three minutes yeah dang and we had sprouts and juice we, we're gonna have more sprouts and juice right now, which is it's good organic my body's just adjusting however we're about to go to the pool so i'm gonna show you guys the mineral pool salt water pool so i didn't tell you guys but this is the villa there's other people that stay in here my room's up there but this is like the common room and then this is the kitchen that we like all share and stuff literally everyone that we've met here is so mm -hmm. So nice. Everyone's here for the same reason. Healing, detox, rejuvenation. This is the breakfast area. And breakfast is quinoa. And I just put cinnamon and pumpkin seed oil on it to give it like an oatmeal vibe. And it's it's good. You really eat anything when you're starving. It's true. <laughs> so it's day three. And we're gonna be doing our juice fasting today, so we're gonna be fasting. I'm already hungry because I should have eaten something last night, but I didn't. So we're just gonna get some wheatgrass, green juice all throughout the day, and then that's it. And I'm also gonna try the I'm silent thing. So I get a sticker that says I'm silent and I'm not gonna talk for the rest of the day. Basically the purpose is to just sit there and like be mindful and just try to realize like how important things are before you say them or how impactful words really are so i'm gonna try to no not try i'm going to be silent all today as soon as i put that sticker on tawny and don't try to talk to me i mean you can talk to me but i'm not responding are you gonna do it do it with Silent. me yeah do it with me fine we can like notes each other <laughs> that's not being silent really that's still like putting thoughts and words and energy out it's not being like present and mindful okay so let's just be silent then Stare at each other. I feel like we're gonna laugh. Like I know. Die. Okay, but we're gonna try it. No, we're gonna do it. Not try. <laughs> Day four, and we finished fasting. My stomach is like so gone right now. So 
<laughs> we finally get breakfast. Breakfast is probably quinoa again. How are you? They're gonna give us something like a little better. <gasps> I have a couple of like appointments, a scalp treatment, which I'm excited for, and then a deep tissue massage. So I'm excited for those. Is that papaya? Yes, I'm gonna have some papaya. It's massage time. Deep tissue massage. The scalp treatment is basically like a reset button for your scalp. So we're gonna get any kind of dead skin oil or buildup off your scalp. Sometimes it's toxins or product buildup and it stimulates your blood flow. So it's gonna really help with your hair growth as well. So we're gonna start off with an exfoliating massage with a chlorophyll scrub. And then once you're um, back in the sink, we'll incorporate wheatgrass, certain serum, brush, hot towel, all that good stuff. Yeah. My bikini underneath. Okay, I'll just do a full plunge. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yesterday? Yesterday? No. No. SYS, but it was 115. Look at us, we're matching. So. We took a tour and then I had my NAD appointment and that was my first time getting NAD. Also, this is what we're having for lunch. It's sushi, vegan sushi. Then we have some kimchi, sprouts, beets, avocado, olives, and things like that. Yeah, so basically I had never tried NAD before in my life. So I did not know it was gonna take three hours. They were telling me that it's like an intense drip and to fill like you might feel nauseous, a little chest pain, dizziness, headaches. headaches. And then so we both sat down and I mean, you can go first tell them about your experience. <laughs> it's blissful apparently, <laughs> it's blissful. I had a really relaxing experience. Like I didn't feel any of the effects, like slightly maybe felt something like in my stomach, maybe doing some detoxing, mm -hmm. but that was it. That was, I yeah, was that was very, it. I was very relaxed. You know what happened to me? On the other hand, <laughs> I got no, there. No, I think I think you get scared and then you no, I wasn't trick scared. yourself into. It's because I have this thing, guys. Where literally, anytime I donate blood, I pass out. Like I'm not scared of the needle. I'm not like scared of the blood or whatever. But my body just like passes out like at any chance I can get. It's so annoying. So like when I started it, I felt fine. I was like taking pictures and videos, and then all of a sudden, like I just got so nauseous and my whole body just started sweating. And then I was trying to call for help, and then I got so weak. I was like, <laughs> sir. Sir, <laughs> and I think you called him. I don't know what happened after that. To be honest. Okay. Well, I just thought she was gonna ask him a question, so I saw him getting water and just like waiting. And then I look over and she's like pale, and I was like, "Do you need help?" <laughs> she's like, "Yeah." And then I was like, "Excuse me," because <laughs> I couldn't move because I had the drip in too. So <laughs> yeah, I was literally sweating so bad. But yeah, I thought I was gonna die. But afterwards, I went to the bathroom and my skin was glowing. I was so happy. I feel just very like tired not gonna lie i don't know if it's because i didn't get enough sleep last night or if it's because do you feel tired um I, I was tired during but now i feel like more energetic yeah i fell asleep during i knocked out we were watching animal planet it was a vibe so if you're gonna go get the nad drip just be like just know it's be gonna prepared. take a long time and you may feel weird but it's all normal and um the people there were so nice so helpful they were on it like as soon as i was about to die they like saved my life <laughs> so being a little dramatic. I am being very dramatic, <laughs> but let me know if you guys have tried NAD or if you would, and then let me know your experience. Weak grass shots. Is this too much or should I just? Uh, yeah, it's too much. So half, that much first. <laughs> we messed up beforehand. We forgot to put a cup there and it was a mess. Okay, so last night, me and Tawny were dying because the AC, well, there was a storm on Sunday and the AC knocked, what? There was a storm on Sunday and the storm knocked the AC out. Yeah, our AC in our room was broken last night, so it was like 85 degrees. We were both like dying and we decided to like sleep on the couch. It turns out they had to switch us villas, but this one, in my opinion, I love way more. I like the vibe. They're both really, really pretty, but this one is like, I feel like more art our art la, la, la. i feel like it's more our aesthetic and i'll show you guys this is the bathroom this one's more girly i feel like 
Yeah. Look, we have flowers. Yeah, this one's cute. Oh, this one has blue and green lights. So I'm back from Miami and that was a wild experience. I did not know going in that I was going to be eating raw vegan. I thought I was just going to be eating plant-based. And raw vegan diet is basically, they don't cook the food at all. Like there's no cooked food. Everything is straight up um, like legit sprouts and plants. No meat, no sugar, no caffeine, no alcohol. I don't know, when you put all the sprouts on your plate, it's kind of hard to like cut and chew because I don't know how to explain it. It's like a lot of sprouts and it's a lot to like cut through. So they have like this food processor, processor that you can do, but you even have to eat that immediately because... Okay, let me just tell you, hold on. Let me rewind. This is messy. <laughs> so the whole point of like a raw vegan diet is to get as much nutrients from the plants as possible. And keeping it in its simple form, in its original form, is supposed to give you the most nutritional value. Um, when you cook the plants it kills a lot of the nutrients and when you even cut the plants it also kills some of the nutrients so in order to get the most nutrients out of your vegetables you're gonna like eat them straight up raw and they did a good job at giving us like dressings hot sauce seasoning to help like spice up the food and not gonna lie the first like couple of days i got really really bloated because I didn't have the enzymes that I needed, but they did give me that towards the end. Enzymes, I mean digestive enzymes to help your body like get onto that diet. They also provide you with like uh, B12, vitamin D3, and we had like green juice. And that's another thing, they had like so much green juice. I thought I was drinking a lot of juice on my own, but we were having like cups of green juice. And especially on fasting day, like they had like just so much green juice is insane. And no, and the next day is like, that's the only time we had sugar was like fruits. It got to the point, you guys, you know, like sugar is very addictive. And it got to the point where like, when you're in that stage where you can't have like the stuff that you normally have, you start to like compromise. And mine and Tani's compromise was, they had like this Brazilian nut milk <laughs> and we would put, we're allowed stevia, so we would put like a couple of drops of stevia and some cinnamon, and that was like our dessert. <laughs> that was like what we looked forward to every single day. One thing that I will take away from that whole experience is definitely, definitely cut back on how much sugar I was eating. Like, I was eating a lot of sugar, not gonna lie. Um, and I didn't realize how, well, I did realize, but I didn't realize how addicted to sugar I was until it was taken away from me from a week, for a week. Another thing that I will take away is the fasting. I do want to fast one day per week. Um, I did feel like a huge difference in my body. It's like a reset. Obviously, I was already juicing like on my own time, but the things that I would juice, I would juice fruit. So I'm probably not going to juice fruit anymore. So I'm going to start juicing like a lot more vegetables. Definitely wheatgrass. That was another thing they were really big on was wheatgrass shots. There's so many benefits. I'll like write them on a list right here. But there's so many benefits to wheatgrass. I'm definitely going to take that into my my day-to-day -day life also i did yoga for the very first time yoga was so relaxing the teacher was so sweet that was my first time doing yoga and she was non-judgmental she like just helped me with my form and i just never felt so centered and at peace so that's another thing i'm going to start doing is yoga um i also do want to try pilates and a lot of other classes because i've been working out for a long time weightlifting and sometimes, you know, you kind of just want to switch it up a little bit. So I will switch it up with some yoga and some Pilates. They also have a um, building called Immunity where they offer a lot of IV treatments, hydrofacials, and a lot of things like that. And they also have like a salon there. And the salon there, they use all non-toxic. So I got my nails done there and I actually dyed my hair there. And that's another thing that I'm going to order is I'm going to start using their hair dye because it just doesn't make sense on why you would use toxic chemicals on like your hair when all of that like seeps into your scalp. And the, when the hairdresser was explaining to me, I was like, yeah, why, do, why doesn't everyone use like organic hair dye? I mean, I don't know how it would work with like blondes, but for dark hair, like it worked perfectly fine. And I actually liked it way better because my hair was so shiny and so smooth because I was going to get a Carrington treatment. 
um, afterwards, but the lady wasn't in. And I actually felt like I didn't meet it afterwards because my hair was like so shiny after that hair dye. So overall, that reboot program was really life-changing. I And just the people there, the people that I attend, all of the guests are so welcoming and they're all there for the same reason is to heal and detox their body. And everyone there is just so kind and so helpful. And you just learn. Just having conversations and just having human connection is so important. And there I had a lot of deep conversations with like a lot of the guests and the staff and everyone's so educated. And I just felt like I felt like I had a whole different perspective on life afterwards. And now I know how to better take care of my body and how to just like relax and just be in the moment and to try new things. And that's what life's about is just learning, taking care of your body, being present and loving people. That's another thing. Everyone there was just so loving and welcoming, no judgment. So I hope this video encourages you to look more into health and wellness. I feel like that's important for everybody, no matter what age you are, you know, don't let it get to the point where like, you're sick to now learn about health and wellness. Like it could also be preventative. And I just wanna say a, a big, huge thank you to Hippocrates for allowing me to experience that life-changing experience. I'm like, I'm not even kidding. Like it was a really life-changing, not trying to be corny, but like it was really life-changing. And I would do it over and over and over again. Like people there, there's people there that will stay there for like three weeks or even three months. I was blessed enough to stay for a week and that alone was life changing. So I can't imagine the three week program. And they also have other fun activities. Like there's like a cold plunge that's called like a fire and ice. They like hype you up to get into the cold plunge and then back, back into the jacuzzi and the mineral pool. They have cryotherapy. They have everything there that you can think of. They literally have it all within walking distance. And the campus is beautiful. Like there is so much wildlife. I'm gonna tell you right now, that was the first time I've ever seen an iguana in my life. I literally ran downstairs and I was like, guys, there's an alligator outside, but it was an iguana. It was an iguana, it was huge. Tons of raccoons, there's like baby raccoons, families of raccoons, um, there's like lots of lizards. I'm not really down with lizards, to be honest. Reptiles, not my thing. But the raccoons were really cute. I'm like rambling now, but the campus is really, really pretty. If you guys wanna learn more about health and wellness, follow Hippocrates on Instagram. And that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ramble. Let me know what other vlogs you guys wanna see. I'm more into like just vlogging for fun now. Like I'm not even really trying to come up with like video ideas. I'm just trying to like take you guys with me on my journey of like life because I'm, I don't know. I don't wanna sit down and just think of video ideas and try to like come up with video ideas. I'm just trying to like vlog as I go. And it's been more organic and free flowing that way. And I like to look back on these type of videos because I can look back and be like, wow, that was really life changing. And I loved doing that. And I was passionate about that video. That's kind of where I'm going now. I'm not really like into making videos for like views and stuff like that. It's just, if you guys want to watch, cool. If not, cool. I always love when you guys, you know, comment and tell me that you learned something because that's that's what it's about as long as you learn something from the video it's all that matters to me um i love you guys and thank you guys always for watching and yeah that's it i don't know how to do outros anymore okay bye would you stay till the morning light or would you follow me or would you let it be if i leave tonight we could do this right We'll find the remedy Or would you stay with me now Till the morning light